What is up everybody? It's your boy Chow Chow. I left you off a little time. A cliffhanger. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Stupid me. Whatever. And we're gonna go right back into this Alan Wake Let's Play and see where the story continues to. Let's get right back into it. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. Mm. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. He's writing bullshit, bro. He won't know the difference. He looks so stupid to know. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. A tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real. And I couldn't put a single word on paper. Mm, I mean, they have Google Docs. I could try that, too. They also have copy and paste. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. I know. Oh my so, god, this guy's so violent. She sounds like she's doing some type of crack great cocaine. Day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the old old dear diner. Good girl. Oh, <laughs> well, that looks good. That looks fun. Oh, it's gonna be rosy, ain't it? Go finished episode two, chapter two, whatever it is. Story is getting spicy, yo. That old woman definitely has something to do with it. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? Alice. I can't tell anyone except my agent Barry. Damn it, Barry! They'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not waiting. <laughs> that, that slap is still funny. The manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. Mm -hmm. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. I hey, want you to shut the fuck up. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Uh huh. Good girl. Yeah, yeah. How the yeah. hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mr. Wake, mm -hmm. quote unquote digging breaker. around. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI. He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Oh, so the guys are gonna shoot you to death. That's Let's the make guy. this quick, huh? I think. Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. Mm -hmm. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose. Sure. Why is that barrel moving? Nice girl. Who wants to know? <laughs> is that barrel moving? The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trail. Yeah, no. That you can Rose, go limp she's a away. Nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. This bucket's more as interesting. I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. I'm following this me. place is crazy. Uh -huh. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. Mm. And get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, mm. you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. <laughs> I'm the god fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with him. Alan was yeah. drowned down there, so yeah, I believe anyway, that shit. writer uh -oh. but I ran a bunch of searches couldn't find a single thing he wrote Zane mm. was heavily into diving so much so that the place came to be called Divers Isle but the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970 and Zane went down with the island mm -hmm. okay so that guy was a fake writer or whatever and uh, the demons like writers all right well beware to all you literature majors out there you're screwed Follow Randolph. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado oh, shit. or something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. That's crazy. 
You damn lo How is this like coins like so not that that weird to you? Like it's a bow in the middle of a redneck park. The, the, the only flowing water here is crack cocaine or some shit. I don't know. Whatever the hell they shoot up heroin. That's the only liquid thing around here. Randy's dogs. Alright, so I want a hot dog with a side of, uh, what, what is that? Let me get so, some salad with chicken, rabbit food, yeah, uh, leave the demons out. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Oh, give me a fucking hot dog, bro. Take me. Bro, I'm basically taking you, old man. Come on. Move faster. If I cannot shoot you. <laughs> push, push, push faster. Local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, oh, Al, shit, is it the old woman we saw? The best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. Oh, Hunchback of Notre Dame? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died. <laughs> what was that an attempt kind to of do? <laughs> Alright, so Hunchback in Notre Dame is uh, writing about devils and shit. Okay, that's not an evil tire. See, I'm more concerned about these evil tires, Barry. Right? I don't know about you, but these, these things, they can cause earthquakes, right? Probably cause that boat to come here, too. Muevete, old man. Come on, bro. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind mm. me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Mm-hmm. Mmm. <laughs> Smells like death. Ah, oh, and demons. Ah, oh, and crack cocaine. I mean, let me just scope, scope out the perimeter real quick. Mm-hmm. It's a real shithole, yeah, you know. Yeah. Can I run? I can't run. Damn. Other than this being a rundown place, it's actually pretty nice. Once again, environment is beautiful. I enjoy it. It's so cool. Haha. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Excuse moi. Knock knock. Oh, I'm not going to back away. You go bear. Welcome to. to. Oh dear. Mr. Wake. Oh, yeah, I saw I'm, that. I'm so glad you're oh, here. Oh, I can see the devil coming Rose, out of you. You have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please come in. Ah, oh, I'm not drinking nothing hey, she gives me. This is really good. <laughs> the devil's Rose. digest. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh hey Al. Al, what's Oh Told you. No, I told you. I told you, what? man. What? Yeah, she pulled the old slip of demon in the cup on you. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. Dad. It's dad. Let's go. It's dad. I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. It's not that. That's mom. You must turn the lights on. Mm hmm. Expose the ugly truth. Expose the ugly bitch. Back to work, boy. <sighs> Exposure completed. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it. 
but I know she's right. So All right. This is me. I can uh. see Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. Oh, fuck you. Story seems You're to be dead. Shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. All right. The old hag is inside you. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> he is out of it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell you're not? What about Welcome you? Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Mm. Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. An exorcism. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on Jesus. the counter there. Would you like to hear today's special? Oh, she really screwed. Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Well... She's a uh, cuckoo bonkers. She's done for, My bro. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Okay, cool. Now I can pick this up. Let's go. Episode three. Mr. Yes. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff station. Actually, that's not being that's not an ass move. That was actually a smart move. So where the police at? I kinda need them right now. Where, where, where's the wait, where's the guns? I know he said something about guns. Is there oh it's in the car, I think. Get to the car! Get to the chopper! Run! 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 Run, Alan, run! The demons, they will tickle your balls. They will give you no mercy. Come on. Oh, it's, uh, I'm gonna die due to these thermoses, I swear. Thermoses? Is it thermi? Is it thermi? Maybe it's thermi. I don't know. Plural. This guy is tired, tired. Look at this! Going back and forth! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, my god. oh it's too funny. Oh, hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> Imagine seeing oh, this coming up to now. you. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI! Get him up, Hemingway! You're under arrest! You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face! Uh -huh. Stay right where you are, Hemingway! What type of matrix shit is this? Duck into the hole. Duck into the hole. Yeah, you see, I read this. What are I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. <laughs> sloppy police, bro, sloppy police. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Oh, what is this G oh god damn it. What is this GTA shit? Run, five stars, run. Come on, move it, move it, move it. Let's go. Demons, now you can appear. Kill the police. Oh, God, I'm tired. You can go kill the police now. <sighs> yeah, only show up when I'm alone and defenseless. God damn it, God damn it, God damn it. Move faster. These guys are everywhere. You can move it. I'm right under you, you bum. Oh shit, he sees me. We have the suspect in sight. No, you don't. You have nothing in sight. Okay, Ben. Keep your eyes peeled. He's gonna try to make it through here. Oh shit, okay, yeah, screw that. Screw that going away from light. Just get away from bullets. Oh, damn. What is that? Oh god, come on. Why? Just because some old guy reported me, like, oh, he's in this girl's house way too long. They're total strangers. What if it was... Uh, it doesn't make sense. This game don't make sense now. 
come on. That way? What's that way? Okay, I'm going to jump way too late, whatever. <sighs> Can't even sleep with a girl nowadays, bro. The police get called out, I swear. Oh, now you can run, let's go. Yeah, you're not hitting me off. I'm already gone. I'm already gone. All right, future, tell me what to do. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, This demon is just focuses on writers, I'm telling you. That's all it focuses on. Barry, I mean not Barry. What's what's this guy? This is not an this is not an Italian sausage, it's just a skinny sausage. Alan, there we go. Alan, you're screwed from the beginning. What the f I didn't do that, did I? Oh hell no. Can I get a gun? I'm dipping. No, I don't want to know. Some Godzilla type shit over here. No, I'm out. Dad, protect me, please. I'm dipping, dipping. What? Who is it? Is that the... Was it the police or is that the guy uh, trying to... Yeah, that's the police. Come in. This guy's stamina. Oh, there are the demons. Let's go. My good old friend, the demons. Shoot it, shoot it. Yeah, y'all are screwed. <laughs> Welcome to my world. It's Andy. <laughs> It's Wigs doing, yeah, because this horror <laughs> was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance, but I they do. were after a writer, not a monster. Well, uh, maybe I am the monster. Oh, helicopter, Psh, rip! You, you're, you got me dead too. What's up, bro? You can't see you're me. Oh right shit! There are places to run. <laughs> what? What is that? What is that? What the hell was? I? Oh, I'm not. Uh, a police or monsters? Make up your mind, game. One or the other. Oh, did the bird screw it up? Noise. Thanks, birds. Oh, I misunderstood you, birds. I, I took you for bad people. Oh shit. That really was crazy. Let me look at it. Yeah, yeah, let me look at the destruction. How do I zoom? That's it. Yeah, I know. You're screwed. You're dead. You blew up. Anything else? Anything I should see? No? What's over here? Spotlight. Yo, that spotlight. I'm, I'm putting that spotlight at Granny. All right. That looks good, so let me just look into here real quick. And thermals. Alright, I guess I'll use this in a second. Alright, everybody, that's all the time I have for this episode of Alan Wake. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. This story is getting spicy by the second. Spicier by the second. Forget English. Screw English. English do not exist, okay? My English does not exist. Alright, let's pray to God this old hag does not kill me from inside or outside. I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. Thank you so much for watching. Fuck.